Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a worth the buy or nah foundation review on the very new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I am so excited to be doing this review for you guys because a lot of you guys have requested this and I was like, if they want it, I'm gonna bring it to them. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. Um, I already went ahead and did my serum, some moisturizer. Wait, did I do moisturizer? I don't think I did. Let me check something. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and apply some moisturizer. I'm going to be using my First Aid Beauty Instant Repair Cream um, before we put on our primer. And this stuff is so great because it hydrates the life out of my skin. Oh, it just feels so good to moisturize. Okay, so now for a primer, we're gonna be using my little Becca um, Matte Poreless Primer that I have a sample of. I'm still going on strong with this little sample. Um, I definitely will be bringing out like the full size of it once I'm done my little sample. But because I don't really need to use that much, I literally use a very small amount because I only use this primer where I get really, really oily. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply those same areas right around my nose. It's just like something that I need. Okay. So now we're going to be using our Fenty Beauty Primer, the Pro Filter, and we are just going to be using that on the outer areas where we didn't use the, um, Becca Primer. Okay. And now we can move on to the foundation. So let's quickly just read a little bit about it. If this is the thing I don't like about these foundations from the drugstore is that they never have like info. You always have to look it up on your phone. They just come like this. Like it was literally just wrapped and this is what it comes like. Okay, so I did purchase this foundation online on Ulta.com because it's not um, in store yet. At least it wasn't when I um, checked for it. Um, they came out with a good range of shades. I have to say it's not like too bad, but it's not like anything crazy. Um, it's 24 shades um, and it's supposed to be an oil-free creamy comfortable formula that dries down to a long-lasting demi matte finish It won't settle into your fine lines or it won't cling onto your patches, which we will test out um, And it comes in this glass bottle and it does have a doe foot applicator. So it's kind of um, what other foundation has done this? I think the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation has this type of similar situation um, what else does it say? It's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and oil-free. Um, it says that the reason why it comes with the applicator like that, the doe foot, is so that you have greater control and you waste less. This foundation offers highly pigmented coverage that can be layered and diffused into your skin. Um, so like I mentioned, there's 24 shades. You can purchase this on Ulta's website, or I'm sure if you live like on the West Coast, anywhere but Maryland, you probably already in your store. Marilyn just does such a crappy job of being the last ones to receive things. So I have to order my stuff online before I even think of going to the store. Um, this does retail for $12, so that's a really good price for a drugstore, not too expensive and not too cheap. Um, so let's go ahead and open this. I did pick this up in the shade F12, and let me read you real quick the description of that shade. Okay. F12 for medium slash dark skin tones with a neutral undertone. Um, I was bouncing back and forth between um, 12 and 10, but I was like, you know what? I'm probably going to be 12. I think it will be a better situation for me. And I kind of looked at it already. And I think that this is a good situation for me. So we're gonna test this one out. And like always, we're going to be doing one side with my sponge and the other side with my brush. I almost blanked out for a second. Okay, so this is the skin without foundation. We're gonna go ahead and change things real quick. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it on. We're gonna start off with the cheek first though, and then we can distribute everywhere else. It kind of has like a paint scent, just in case you're wondering. I know some people are a little, you know, weird about scents. So I get it. And let's just start blending this. Yeah, I think this color is good. Just right off the bat, it looks really good. Now, if you guys have seen my review on the Makeup Revolution um, concealer, I'm not a big fan of it. 
wasn't my favorite, um, but this one may be a different story. So let's see what happens. Actually really good. Do you guys see that? That coverage was like there right away. And we only went in with what, like at most four stripes. And that like actually matches me perfectly. Let's see, let's keep going. Let's keep seeing this. Definitely full coverage. Cause I mean, you can see redness, redness pretty much gone. Only like a little tiny peak right there. But I mean, this was really good just off the one swipe. Um, so let's do up here. It blends very easily, which is great. Um, I feel like sometimes people can be scared when they see full coverage because they automatically think thick, cakey. Um, they just think the worst sometimes, especially if you're not like a full coverage gal and you kind of um, want to try something that's a little bit more full coverage, but you get scared because you're like, oh my God, what if this just doesn't blend right? So um, no, it actually feels very lightweight and it's blending very easily into my skin, which I can really get with. Um, what else? Just feels really good. Like really good. And then we're gonna go down our nose. Like I mentioned before, I personally don't go in with a lot of product on my forehead just because my forehead's pretty evened out. So I don't have to worry about um, kind of like getting it messed up. So I like this type of consistency. I like how it's covering fast. The scent is the only thing that I'm kind of like, mm. Cause I don't know, to me, the scent, which is kind of like a paint scent, um, is kind of like a cheap smell to me. Like I kind of rather have no smell than this smell. Um, but if it's a good foundation, I'm not gonna be mad at it. I kind of went a little too overboard on the brush side, but that's okay. Um, that was really like, I'm gonna just go in with a little tiny bit more right here and right here. This is the only little spot where I need it a little bit more. But the color, man, F12, if you are around my complexion, this is for you. Bam, like full coverage queen. And it's definitely more on the matte side. It has a little tiny bit of radiance, but it did say in the description that this is a demi matte. So I wasn't expecting this to be like, oh my God, she's matte. I was expecting this to be a soft matte, something that People that don't have the oily of skin still can work with and it will look great. I'm hoping that this goes well because I can see myself using this foundation a lot. It, it looks like skin, like it looks like very perfected skin. It reminds me a little tiny bit of the finish that my Huda Beauty Faux Filter gives me. The Faux Filter is a little bit thicker in consistency. That's just something um, that I noticed right away. This is definitely a little bit more lightweight than that but the finish just looks very filter-esque that I'm just like, wow, this is excellent. Um, so definitely a good look with the sponge. I have to say the sponge didn't absorb too much of that product, which I think is great. I hate when sponges like take away too much of the product because then it really shears it out, but I feel like it didn't at all. I feel like it's just like smoothing the face in a very, very beautiful way. It doesn't look like a cheap foundation either. It looks like a very like almost high-end foundation. So I have no words right now, I'm, I'm impressed. So I'm gonna go in with my JH03 brush. Um, this is from the Master Collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation on this side with the brush. Um, I have to say, now that I'm also applying the foundation, I really like this doe foot applicator situation because I agree with them. I feel like when you have a doe foot applicator, um, it's better because you kind of really pick where you wanna apply it and you don't waste too much product. Um, I also feel like it is good because you kind of don't get the foundation all over your fingers. It doesn't get super duper messy. Like when I like to go ahead and put it on the back of my hand and then dot it, I feel like my fingers get really dirty. And I mean, it's gonna happen regardless, but it's always kind of better to have a situation where you can control the foundation. So I'm just going ahead and applying this. That covered my redness right away. I am really, really shook. And it blended into the skin so perfectly. Sometimes when you have these kabuki brushes, 
it can like kind of like separate it a little bit or it can make it harder to blend but this blended into my skin as you guys saw so well I feel like honestly just from applying that much right now I feel like with the sponge or the brush it will look fine I feel like both of them work really well with this foundation so let's go ahead and cover up the forehead which won't really be much of an issue because the forehead is pretty evened out so it's just kind of getting the product in there but I'm impressed this just is a good look okay so we are covered on this side we are really covered and it really didn't take that much to cover. Like it, we went in and we went back out. So that was really, really good. Maybe right here a little bit, but maybe I'm just being crazy. Like a little tiny bit of redness right there. You guys probably were like, what is she talking about? I can't see anything, but I mean, maybe it's just the, I think it's just the lighting and I'm being crazy. Um, so I think we're good. I think we are good with the foundation. Um, I do have to say now that I'm seeing this side set on my skin, I do feel like it's looking more on the matte side, like a little bit more matte than it did when I first said, okay, I'm seeing like that demi matte, not like ugly matte or matte and flat. It just looks like a really good finish. Um, and it feels like a nice smooth canvas. It really doesn't feel like I have foundation on. It does feel very lightweight. I can easily tell when I'm moving my mouth like this, when something feels thick or I feel like something could separate. I feel like this just is feeling pretty great. And it's not enhancing my pores, which is a very important thing for me. You guys know I hate when you can see my pores. It's not enhancing them whatsoever. My skin looks very just nice and it has a very nice matte finish but it still has like that skin like look. Also my texture, it's not like really intensely enhancing anything. I hate when foundations do that. This isn't doing that. So I think right now, first, first like impressions, just having the foundation on, I am impressed. I mean, for $12, the way that it was going on, the way that it was blending, it felt like a luxury product. So I'll be right back. Next time you guys see me, I'm gonna have a full beat face. So just be ready for that. Okay, so I am back. It is now 9.30 a.m. and I finished doing my entire face of makeup. We are ready to conquer the day. And I quickly wanna give you guys like my first initial thoughts on everything and how this foundation is working with my products. Um, I have to say I'm really impressed. Everything went on so nice and smooth. Um, my foundation honestly makes my skin look so beautiful. Like I can't even tell you how beautiful my skin looks in person. Like it just looks that good. Um, so, um, I did go ahead and bake. I just baked my under eyes cause I was looking at the foundation. I was like, do I need to bake anything just to make sure everything stays in place? And I didn't, the foundation still looks nice and matte. I feel like it just really set a very beautiful matte type of finish, which I am all for. Um, and then the under eyes, um, I did bake and it looks great. It doesn't look chunky, crusty, nothing like that. It just looks really beautiful on the under eye, very skin-like. Um, and I was a little bit worried because sometimes when you're using a foundation that's more on the matte side, it can make it hard for you to apply things in the under eye area or just anywhere, like concealer. I was like, I hope that the, it's not hard for me to blend out the concealer, but it was very easy. It didn't disturb the foundation. It didn't make the foundation slide. So um, I have to say that the foundation looks fantastic. Once you go in and kind of put it down and it's been on the skin for, I wanna say 15 or 20 minutes, it's on there, it's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move with the rest of your products, which is great. I feel like that's really important because sometimes foundations, um, even though like they've been on the skin for 25 minutes, they start to kind of like move around as you put on the other products, but this did not move. It's in place and ready for the day. As for the way that my blush went on, it looks very beautiful on top of the foundation. Um, same thing with my highlight. I feel like my highlight looks very nice on top of the foundation. Um, of course, when you have highlight, you can see a little bit of the texture, but it's not as intense as some other foundations tend to make highlight look sometimes. Like I am just like, makeup revolution, what did you do? This is the skin with the foundation. I personally think it looks absolutely stunning. Like I feel like my skin looks so beautiful and it just has like this gorgeous like skin like feel even though it's a full coverage demi matte foundation. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and go 
and I will be back later and hopefully this foundation is still looking this bomb because if it is then it's gonna be worth a buy so if you want to see my final thoughts then please go ahead and stay tuned okay so I am back it is now 7 30 p.m. it's been a very long day but I am so excited to talk about this makeup revolution foundation so are you ready okay so as you can see the foundation looks so good like i can't get over how great this look this look this looks i actually literally have been looking in the mirror like the whole day i'm like wait is it really not getting that oily like is this really working and staying on my skin like i was so impressed guys and this is a drugstore $12 foundation and it's working phenomenal. So I have to say, I personally think right off the bat, it's worth it. I think it's worth it for all different types of skin types because the consistency is a really nice creamy consistency. It's not thick where you're gonna be like, oh my God, this is like paste, but it's not too runny where you're like, uh, this is questionable. It's just the perfect in the middle consistency, but it gives you full coverage without it feeling cakey, heavy, or just like way too much on the skin. Um, I also honestly like the fact that this has the doe foot applicator because I agree with its claim. Like I feel like you have more control over how much product you're using instead of pumping it out and pumping out too much. Also I like the fact that you're not getting your fingers dirty right away. So you're not like having to put it on your skin. You're just putting it directly on the skin and it looks fantastic. It's also very long wearing. It did not rub off. It didn't transfer off. It stayed on the skin. And I'm just really impressed with how good it looks. And it's not accentuating my pores. Like I mentioned, it is now 7.30 p.m. And it's still looking really great. The last time I saw you guys was around like 9.30 a.m. So it's been a really long day. And I've had no issues with it. Like I just keep looking at it. And I'm like, wow, this looks really good. I feel like it's like a filtered foundation. And even when I was looking at my camera um, on my phone, like on Snapchat and stuff without any filters, I really liked how it looked. I was like, usually I do not, like I wanna put the filter on, I'm like filter, filter. But this time I was like, wow, this looks really good without the filter. I say, you know what? After you're done watching this video or as you're finishing watching this video, get in your car, drive to Ulta or go on Ulta.com, place the order and get this foundation because it is that good. Like for $12, I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best $12 you spent at the drugstore makeup section because this is good stuff. So that is all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this review. I'm really happy about it because you guys know that whenever I can get a really good worth the buy or not review, I'm just like, yes. So if you guys have any other recommendations for foundations you want to see on my worth the buy or not series, then please let me know. I'm kind of stumped right now, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there's not that many foundations coming out, so I don't know which ones to try out. Um, but I do have some other ideas for videos. So if you guys have any suggestions, any foundations you've been curious about, but you're like, I don't want to spend the money, let her spend the money. Just let me know down below and I will take one for the team. Um, and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching it, it always helps me out. Let's me know to continue doing these types of videos. And also please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel, because I would love for you to become a member of family here on YouTube. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss any of my videos for the world because I always hook you up with the best reviews, let's be honest. Um, so that being said, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.